you sometimes just need somebody that doesn't have any skin in the game to weigh in. We need free content for the Playhouse. It's a beautiful relationship. You can always submit these online at Y94.com under the Be in the Playhouse page. We'll tackle them a time or two a week here on the show. Love doctors. Love doctors. You're not the love gurus. My friend let me know that my boyfriend has to bring her ring shopping to be like a guide as to what I might be interested in. It's a nice idea. Don't get me wrong. And I know she agreed. That's why she let me know. But I don't actually trust her. Do I try to coach her ahead of time, which is I think what she was looking for, or stop this all together and try to show him low-key what I'd be into before they go shopping? Because I don't think her style is my style based off her ring. Okay. I think you just go to your boyfriend because you he doesn't know what you want and you're trying to put that into her, yeah. I don't know if that's going to happen because yeah. I think once she starts seeing all these rings, her own feelings are going to kind of take over and she's going to be like, well, this is what I like. I know she said she likes this, but I like this one better. I would just go to your boyfriend and say, listen, I don't want you to be upset, but she told me that you were going to bring her. I'd prefer if honestly you didn't. You just went by yourself and can I just show you some things I like and then maybe the jeweler could help you because they're unbiased. Yeah, I think I agree with you. You could certainly try to coach her, and you could try to put her in the right direction. I think, it, uh, gosh, it's just better to be go to the source, man. He's going to be the one that ultimately makes that choice. And if he doesn't get any sort of feedback ahead of time from you, yeah, he's. I mean, the reason he's asking her is he's going to rely on her. So even if he's second guessing it, and like I don't know if she's going to like that, if she's trying to convince him and she's wrong, I mean, he's still going to buy it. Yeah, and if you really don't like her taste and everything, go straight to him and just be direct with what you want. Tell him, describe it, but then also show pictures. Like I said, I want something simple. I want a gold band and a diamond. And you got that rock. I got exactly what I wanted. You know, there's uh, another thing you could do, and this is kind of the Midwest, like, passive, aggressive way to handle it and very indirect you could just randomly, organically in the conversation, kind of smack talk her ring a little bit or her fashion taste or stuff like that. I feel like that's super indirect and I don't like doing it, but I also know this is North <laughs> Dakota and that's how people like to handle their business for whatever reason. I don't know why we do that in the Midwest, but we all do it, myself probably included. So if you wanted to go the passive aggressive route, that's what that is. Did you see what she was wearing? Uh, her oh style is terrible. I would never wear anything she <laughs> ever picked out. I, so there would be that. You certainly could do that. Just go straight to him. Tell him exactly what you want. Show him pictures. Honestly, if you even print them out and be like, bring this to the jeweler. There you go. I'll tell you. Send him the link. Yeah. Love doctors. Love doctors. You're on the love gurus. I am 26 and dating a 20-year-old. She's terrific and much more mature than most girls her age. We get along great, and I told my family about her, but they have not met her yet. There is a massive family dinner for one of my relatives this weekend, and my parents said, oh, you should bring her along. It's a great time for her to meet everybody. The thing is, nobody knows... That she's not 21. They just probably assume she's around my age. And it is at a restaurant. And I do imagine everybody will be drinking. And I'm worried that she's going to be offered a drink or can ask for her ID just for being around. And if people find out that she's that much younger than I am, that's going to be super awkward. And World War Three will break out. What do you advise me to do? I mean, at some point, they're going to have to find out her age. Yeah. So bring her along. Why does she have to drink? She There's could just also say, that. I know it's like kind of deceiving. Instead of saying, well, I'm not 21, she could just say, I, I don't drink or no thank you to the drink. Oh, my God, his new girlfriend's pregnant. No, yeah, that's maybe what they would think, too, or just say, like, I'm the, I'm just going to drive us. I don't want to drink or I have a busy day tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Come up with a mm-hmm. different excuse. But I wouldn't announce this weekend the age difference. Let them meet her. Let them like her. And then... You drop that. I don't think that's as severe as you think it is. Uh, I mean, it's not like you're 50 or 40 or 30 and she's, I mean, it's six years. I got seven on my wife, so watch it before I you respond now. I was just going to say, I don't like age differences. Yeah, so I that's know you where don't. it's weird for me. But I think this is why it's not the age difference. I think just so many people with drinking and things mm-hmm. like that. So that one with her not being 21. There is that. Like, I don't it's know. like the limiting, like, well, she can't go to the bar with you or she can't do this. And like, people like really look at that. Mm-hmm. My sister is older than her fiance. And so she was able to drink and oh, go out. Cougar. And he wasn't. And I even asked her, I said, 
Like, it doesn't bother me that he's younger than you. I said, just doesn't it bother you that he can't, like, go out with you and your friends? And she was like, we find different things to do. We don't have to go to the bar. Yeah, it's uh, inspiring and surprising that this is stemming from you. But I do agree. (laughs) This, like... Concept well, Amy that, had a good idea today. No, that everybody's world revolves around alcohol is such a mistaken thing. It, it it's and I true, applaud though. you for being the one that came there. It good really job. is true. And like then, if I say like I'm not going to drink tonight or uh-huh. no, thank you, people then automatically assume, oh, are you pregnant? No, dude, I just don't want a beer. Yeah, it's it. it you don't, not everybody likes to drink or that much. It's like infrequent. It's like rare occasion they have a drink. It's okay. And so yeah, I think. I would just maybe just say, oh, no, I'm not drinking tonight, or I'm just going to stick with pop. Yeah, there's that. You also could make that phone call and be like, hey, just so you guys know, in case it matters to you. I mean, she's 20. That also could be something you do. Ahead of time, warn them. Just call them. Just say, hey, I don't know if I ever mentioned this. She's 20, so, you know, just don't be offering us wine. Yeah, don't keep pushing alcohol. Love doctors, love doctors, y'all the love gurus. I am 42 and in a new relationship with a 33-year-old woman. Oh, another one of these. What was the age difference? 42 and 33. Okay. So he's 42, she's 33. She's terrific and things have been going well, but we're in a fight over how I introduce her. I honestly have no idea how to refer to her. Calling her my girlfriend seems weird because we're not in our teens or 20s. I thought about introducing her as my partner, my main squeeze, my current flame, my lover, my significant other. None of them seem to fit. So I've been saying my friend Kate and she hates it. Yeah, what? She says it doesn't honor our relationship. She does say that I'm her boyfriend and I'm okay with that. She is a girl. She is my friend. I just feel like it sounds stupid to call her my girlfriend. We're not children. I, I don't think that the, the term's the same regardless. You could be yeah. 80 years old. That's your girlfriend. The fact that he was like, girlfriend seems like we're teenagers, but I'm thinking about calling her my main squeeze. <laughs> you think that is a better term than girlfriend? What? Yeah. Just go with girlfriend. Even like when my grandpa started dating someone, he was so old. Man, that guy was old. And he was like, here's my girlfriend. Her name's Dorothy and yeah. she likes to play Scrabble. <laughs> yeah. Girlfriend, just use girlfriend. Or you, I think maybe just because it's such a, it's like a rela- new relationship for you. Sometimes it is just awkward even like saying it out loud. You'll get more True. used to it. Or just say, when you're introducing people, just say, oh, have you met Kate or whoever it is? And then they'll probably be like, oh, are you guys dating? Yeah. And yeah. then, yes, yeah, it's my girlfriend. 